What's up everyone, Tina here. Welcome back to another video where I'll be sharing a new update inside the invoice feature. It is now possible for you to edit your invoice templates for all notifications inside the invoice tab itself. These notifications include emails to your customer if the payment has failed or if the payment has succeeded, for example, as well as notifications to your team members. Let me show you how you can change those templates so you can have brand consistency throughout all notification emails. First, click on payments on the left, then click on invoices at the top, and then click on the settings icon. At the bottom right here, you can see notifications. Click on that drop down menu, and you can see here you can select between customer notifications and team notifications. Let's click on customer notifications. And here you can see the email template as well as SMS template. Here you can see the new option preview. Click on preview, and a new field will open up with the template editor right there and then. Here you can go ahead and add images. You can add your logo, for example. You can change the color of this button, for example, and change it to your brand color. Just simply click on it, scroll down, click on background color, change the color. Of course, you can add or remove any text. You can maybe add your social icons. Whatever it is that you want to add or remove from your templates, you can do that right here. Let's click Save as New Template at the top. Then you can rename this from default to your company name, for example. And this is a template for invoice received. Hit continue and that's been saved. Hit save again, just in case, and X this out as well. Now you have to go ahead and select the template as well from the drop down menu. So click on it. You see here still the default name. So the default template has been selected. Click the drop down menu, scroll to the bottom and see your company name, invoice received. That's the template we just created. So select this to make sure that this particular template will then be sent if you want to send the invoice received email. Let's say you have set up in your workflow an SMS notification as well. You can do exactly the same thing here. Click the drop down menu and select any of your SMS templates. If you don't remember, for the SMS template, as of now, you have to go into marketing and then templates to create the template right there. We will be adding the feature that you can edit it as preview, like you can now with the email template inside the invoice builder as well very soon. And scrolling down, you can create new templates for all possible scenarios. Invoice payment successful. When somebody paid the invoice successfully, send them a confirmation SMS. Scrolling down, invoice payment failed is very important actually, because maybe sometimes the client's credit card is expired or it got stolen, so they blocked it and they didn't remember that they need to pay you through that particular credit card. So send them an email to remind them, hey, your payment has failed, please change your details here, click here, and so on and so forth. The same thing here, you wanna edit it according to your brand colors and brand voice. Click on preview. Here at the top again, you can see what kind of invoice we're editing. And as I already explained previously, you can just drag and drop images, logos, text, social icons, videos, whatever it is that your heart desires, you can edit it in this builder. And then we also have auto payment information as well as auto payment failed notifications. Don't forget to hit save bottom right. Now moving on to team notifications, same scenario, how you would edit those template. You just click on preview and you would start editing the email in the email builder. The first notification goes out to your team once the invoice has been successfully paid. Then this notification also goes out to your team once the payment has failed. So your team knows that they should follow up with the customer. Maybe you can even put it on a separate Excel sheet so that a dedicated person has the one job to follow up with people where the payment has failed. Same scenario for auto payment failed, click the preview, edit the default template or for the auto payment skipped. So maybe the contact data from your customers outdated. Again, you can dedicate this particular task to one user in your system that they should pay attention and try to find the customers, call the customer and say, hey, we tried to send you that email, the email bounced, your email address is not valid anymore. Is there any better email we can send this to? So that you can make sure that your customers receive those invoices. Also, when you create an invoice and when you're about to send this off, you can also then edit the email template. Let me show you how you can do that. Go back. Then we want to click new invoice top right. Click new invoice again. Let's select the name of our customer. Then let's add an item. Otherwise, we can't send it anyway. Select the first one. Hit save. Okay, let's go back and click resend again. Now let's select email only or BCC somebody else in. Then click on edit again. And here you can also click the preview button in order to see how that would look like on desktop, on tablet, as well as on mobile. Then again, you can also click preview contact information right here, and it will show you all the data of the customer where you're about to send this invoice to. So you can double check if it's the correct customer, if it's the correct email and so on and so forth. Let's say you just want to send the invoice via SMS. You can do so by clicking send or resend. Click on text right here and then just click send invoice and the invoice will be sent via SMS. Now let's go back. Click on settings again, go back to notifications on the bottom, 
click on customer notifications. And overall, we have 10 different templates which you can edit between customer notifications as well as team notifications. Last but not least, please make sure that all these buttons are toggled on and you're good to go. I hope you like this new feature which will help you to improve customer experience because now your emails can be much more personalized and adjusted to your brand voice and design. I will see you in the next video.